Hi there, my name is Ike. Today I'm going to show you how you can add a new site to your platform in LifeWare DXP 7.2. I'm signed in to Josiah Copeland, who is my administrator. Because of that, I have access to the menu, and I'm currently at my site, Livingston Hotels and Resorts. If I jump up into my control panel and go to Sites, and then the Sites tab underneath that dropdown, I can see beside my global site, this is the only site I have. Adding a new site is really simple. I want to create a space where employees can talk about the different company retreats that are offered to them. We're going up to the blue Add button, where we're able to select a site template. We have the blank site, community site, and intranet site. We can also add our own later on as well. For now, the intranet site is going to be perfect. We'll call it the Livingston Staff Retreats. And by checking this box, I can make sure that the pages are private, so that only members are going to be able to see them. Right off the bat, you can see that we are at our Livingston Staff Retreats site in the Settings tab under the Configuration dropdown. We have the name we've just provided. And over here, we can talk about our different membership options. Again, since we don't want anyone to be able to enter in, we'll make it restricted. We'll also leave ourselves the ability to manage membership. For our parent site, we'll go ahead and select the Livingston Hotels and Resorts, the only other site that I have. By doing this, we'll be given an option just below to limit membership to members of the parent site. By selecting yes on this, I'm saying that individuals who are already members of Livingston Hotels and Resorts can be candidates for members of this site. We'll have some more options down here below to control the way our site works, but so far everything is good for what I'm looking for. Upon saving, I have that success message. And now I can head on over to my site. And here we are. We see we have a few widgets here on the page as a product of the intranet template we chose. I can move these widgets, but you'll notice that they can only fall into one of two columns. Here's where we can go on up to the configure page setting. If we scroll down a little bit, we see we have access to the different layouts on the pages. Layouts help us to easily control the organization of elements on a page. Right now, as we've just seen, I currently have the two columns 50-50 option. I want to have a large blog on the left, and on the right side I want a widget that displays photos of the recent company retreats, so I'm going to go ahead and go with the two columns 70-30. We'll go ahead and hit save, and we're brought right back. We can see recent content has a little more space, along with our language selector. I'm actually going to drag the language selector down. Delete the activities, as well as recent content. To add more widgets, come on up here to the Add button, and we'll see we have access to the widgets dropdown. Under Collaboration, I'll grab that blog's widget, and then head down to Content Management, where I can find a media gallery. I also have the ability to edit these widgets here and now. I'll go into Look and Feel Configuration, and I will enable a custom title, which I'll just change to Recent Event Photos. After seeing that success pop up, I can leave, and do the same thing with blogs. I'll call it the Retreat Blog, and exit out. I'm not going to dive in too deep here with the page, but you can see we've already easily created a brand new site. Back in our control panel, in that site selection that we were at in the beginning, we can see now that when I go over to the Livingston Hotels and Resorts, I can come to the three dots, view the child sites, and see the Livingston Sites Retreats is present. If I ever want to make more changes to this, I can simply click the three dots and go back to those site settings. Looking for more information on this topic or others? Check out our links in the description. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications. Thanks for watching.